Hi everyone, welcome back to Siren. Last time we got introduced to a new character and a new setting, but this time around we're going to be doing something that feels a whole lot more familiar. So we're going to continue on with Kay in a place that we may have seen him before. It is Arco. Where is everyone? What's this? So that cutscene may seem familiar. It was the first cutscene that we saw with Kay. So why are we seeing that again? Well, this objective is also the same objective that we had when we, we first used Kay, except... Now there is a second one, Fine Hisako Yao's Veil. So this is the same level that we've done with K before. This was the first time we used him. And the first time around, the only thing we had to do was escape, find the exit. But now there's something else, a second objective. And you know that as we've been playing through this game, we've been doing these bonus little things here and there to unlock the uh, potential to do second objectives for these missions. But this is the first time we've actually had to do one. Uh, we have not had the opportunity with any other level. So... How do we find Hisoko's Veil? Well, it's kind of a difficult thing because, unlike the exit, which is clearly labeled on the map, the Veil is not. So, how do we find that? Well, you might remember that Hisako, she took her veil off when she first met Kiyoya, which was actually right around here, in the same area. But her veil's nowhere to be found. The thing is, on some levels where you have to find an item that doesn't show up on the map, sometimes the best way to find it is to sight jack uh, sh uh, Shibito and see if any of them are going to look at it. And if you might remember the first time we did this level, there actually was someone who was looking at a red cloth uh, that might be of interest to us now. Let's see if I can... Oh, there it is. See that? There's a red cloth tied to a railing, and someone's looking at it. Now, if this guy turns around, he should start hammering, and we should be able to figure out from there who this guy is and where he is. Because we did encounter a hammering Shibito above, I believe, the barber shop, which is where we got the combination to, uh, well, first the tape recorder, and then from the tape recorder we got the combination to the lock for the custodian shack. Oh, oh got a little too close. That guy's coming. Well, let's see if he comes all the way. Yep, he's heading right over here. I thought he might stop before he got here, but that's fine. We have a wide berth here. Kay, at this point, actually at any point so far, does not have any weapons. So, he is still one of the more helpless characters that we've seen so far. That guy's coming from the other side. I saw his viewpoint look kind of odd. I wondered why there would be someone right there. Because it seemed like he was coming... I expected him to come from this side. But no, he came from the other way. He's sneaky. Where's he going? Alright, he's leaving. That's fine. All right, so we've got ourselves a hiding place. We have to make our way over to that barber shop, and as we do so, we're gonna pass something that wasn't here before. The camera angle tells us it must be important. There's a five-gallon can on the ground. Well, let's just pick that up and shove it in our priest's frock, and we're doing okay. Yep, we're just gonna hide it in there. Now, 
We could go in here. And you remember that the freezer needed to be plugged in. We needed to put the towel in there. We actually don't need to do any of that this time round because we did it the first time. So even though it's unplugged right now, uh, when we complete the mission, it will still count as though we did all that because we already did. You get it? The timeline works weird here. Even though we're doing this and we're not plugging in the freezer now, when someone comes across that freezer later, it will be plugged in. Because we did it before. Even though we're not doing it now. Again, the timeline works kind of strangely in Siren. This guy is still here, though. That good old gardener. We can always rely on him. He's always going to be hanging around doing his thing. All right, let's see if we can look around. I'm trying to see if I can see the hammering Shibito from here, but I don't think I can. I don't see him around. Let's see if anyone's on the other side here. All right, someone there, but I think he's walking. Yeah, he's walking away. Let's just get some distance anyway. And uh, while I'm here, might as well climb this. We've been passing this ladder every time we've come here. Never actually took the time to come up here, because there's no reason to. So far, anyway. Maybe eventually there'll be a reason to. But yeah. There's just a tower here. We can use it to look down on the town, but it's so foggy we can barely see anything. Yeah, I can barely make out anything. Again, trying to see if I can make out that hammering Shibito. Alright. So what we want to do is make our way over here. By the, bar the barbershop sign. And... Those guys should be far enough away that they're not going to see us. And what about this guy up here? I don't hear any hammering. Okay, but he is hammering. So he is right above us. I still can't really see him. There he is. Oh, he's looking at the thing right now. Yeah. So he's looking in our direction, so let's wait for him to turn around. You see him with the hat on? Just be patient. All right, now he's back. All right, so we, okay, there it is. We can see it up there, but how do we get that? Maybe we can try to stand on this shed. Well, it has a lock. We, we know about the lock. We don't want to bother with the lock. Is there any place we could stand to get on top of this? Well, if we stand right here, it, it does say now. If we had, we could climb up here if we had something to step on, but only at this one specific spot. Fortunately, we do have something that we can step on. And look what we found. Oh my. Sarko, where are you? Mission two accomplished. So, notice we didn't actually have to leave the level to accomplish that mission, because the mission objectives are actually very specific. If the objective is to get out of the level, that's the only thing you need to do to accomplish the mission. But if it doesn't say that, you don't have to leave the level. You don't have to escape. This objective only said, find Hisako's Yao, Hisako Yao's veil. That's the only thing it said. So when we found it, we completed the mission. And we'll save. So I guess that's just an early example of 
a second objective. And this is one of the easier ones, one of the simpler ones. Um, but you, you might wonder which was supposed to be the real timeline there. Was it the first timeline where we froze a towel and then left, uh, left this part of the town? Or is it this one where we enter the town, we don't freeze a towel, we find the veil, and then just, I don't know, we just end the level? Well, these two timelines aren't contradictory in this case, but we will be encountering some levels later on where it is kind of contradictory, and it's, you're not really sure which is supposed to be the real timeline. It's kind of weird how it works, but this was the first example that we've seen so far of a level having a second objective. The same level, with the same character, with the same cutscenes, it's just that there's something different that we have to do. And it won't be the last one, no. We'll be seeing plenty of these as we continue on with Siren. But there wasn't really a whole lot that happened in this mission today. But fortunately, there's going to be a lot more happening, uh, some new stuff happening, I think, with the next level, with the next characters that we are going into. So, I'll see you then.